Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have some news. Is it news? Does anyone care? I don't know. It, uh, you know, I told you guys a few months ago, I believe. Yeah, a few months ago that I, like, it finally happened. I was affected by the Ozempic shortage. <gasps> Um, and I had to skip a few weeks, two weeks, I think, two or three weeks, um, without Ozempic. And we talked about that and I got back on it for July and everything was great and fine and dandy. And then I checked my prescription status, um, a few days ago because I was due for a new prescription, a new pen, a new, all the fun stuff. Um, and I hadn't gotten... A text about my prescription being ready yet so I go on the little CVS app and I'm like hey what's going on and they're like your insurance isn't covering it anymore and I was like cool so yeah that finally happened um, my insurance was like no you don't we're you're good you're fine you're okay and to be completely honest I don't blame them <laughs> there are um, times in my life where I have been denied insurance for things that I um, definitely needed insurance for, like anesthesia for a surgery. Make that make sense. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. I'm not going to go on a rant about the American healthcare system. I could. I should. Should I? Eh, I'm not going to. But um, yeah, I, I can't say I really blame them because I'm not diabetic. Like I've been saying this whole time, I was pre-diabetic. I don't know if I still am. I haven't had a doctor in months, many, almost a year. I started this medication and then my doctor dipped out on me and then I just never got a new one. So, I, yeah, I, I do not blame them at all. I've been getting my prescriptions through, like, I, I have One Medical, if anybody else, like, knows about One Medical and what they do. So they have an app and you can just go on and be like... I need a refill, I need, you know, this or that, and just, like, some random, like, nurse practitioner or, like, PA or someone will just, like, be like, okay, cool, sending it to your, so I haven't really needed a doctor to, like, get my prescriptions filled this year, any of them, so I just haven't really thought about it, but, yeah, um, this time my insurance was like, no, no, you're good, you're fine, you don't need it, and I don't know why, um, I didn't quite look into it because I have to be honest, I just like really didn't care. Like I've gotten to a point with this medication anyway where like I'm just kind of over it. Like I don't think it's doing anything for me anymore. I think that, I mean to be fair, I haven't been under a doctor um, watchful eye in a while but I have had other medical things going on in my life this year. Hi, chicken! She's gonna rub herself on my tripod, so if this starts to shake, that's just my cat. Um, so I've had a lot of blood work done. I've had, um, like I had surgery back in March, and they checked my glucose levels, and everything has been normal. I've had no red flags thrown up. Everything's fine. So I think that maybe the Ozempic just, like, did its job. Um, as far as weight loss, like, I, I did lose weight on Ozempic over the course of almost a year of being on it. I think my first month of it was September of last year, um, and this last month was July, so about almost a year, about 10 months. Um, I did lose weight. Um, the whole time I lost almost, like, almost 50 pounds. Um, but like I've said in every single other video, like, it's not just the Ozempic. I have been working out consistently. I, I hate this phrase, but I can't think of anything else right now. I, like, literally just woke up. I watch what I eat. <laughs> um, I watch the food go into my mouth anyway. Um, and, like, I, I'm just, I'm just pretty active. Like, I, I don't, I walk everywhere that I need to go, um, I live in San Francisco, so you know those hills, they're a bitch. Um, what was I saying? I just completely lost track. This is what happens when I don't script out my videos. Ugh! Um, what I was saying was I, I did lose weight, and I know that Ozempic had a part of it um, because of the way 
you know, the appetite suppressant and all that stuff. Like, for the first few months, I couldn't eat, like, anything. I was just, like, full on, like, protein shakes all day. It, gross. Um, so I knew it had something to do with it, but it wasn't the whole picture. And it sort of, um, plateaued is the wrong word, um, because I'm still, my lifestyle hasn't changed. Um, you guys are missing it. There's a full-on marshmallow war going on between my cats, but right behind the camera. Anyway, um, my point is I'm still at the, you know, maintaining slash losing weight part of my journey, which is something I'm actively trying to do. Um, but I don't think that the Ozempic is like giving me the kick anymore. You know, I'm not like, I mean, look, I don't have Ozempic face. <laughs> I'm not Mindy Kaling, okay? Um, so yeah, I just, I don't really care that they kicked me off of it, honestly. And I went through withdrawal. That's not the right word, but you know what I mean. I'm sorry. The words are just not wording for me today. Um, I, I experienced going off of it cold turkey and I was fine. Nothing happened. The world didn't blow up. I didn't blow up. I didn't get sick. I was okay. I got more sick going back on it than coming off of it, um, which is another reason that I just like don't care. I'm not going to fight with prior authorizations and insurance because by the time if they even approve it, it's not going to I'm not, yeah, it's not going to be fun going back on it. I did not enjoy going off of Ozempic and then going back on it. Um, one medical did ask me if I wanted to look at alternative options, like Wigovi or anything like that, and I was like, honestly, no. Like, I just, like, I just, I feel like I got what I needed out of my Ozempic journey. I feel like it's a sign from the universe that, like, you're done you're done. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's that. I, this is my first week that I've missed it. Like I was supposed to take it yesterday and I didn't obviously because I don't have it. Um, all good so far. I haven't wanted to stuff my face yet. So appetites looking, I keep doing this and then I forget that it's like, don't do that. Yeah, anyway, um, appetite's looking good so far in the f first 24 hours here. <laughs> um, uh, I think I'll maybe, like, if, if things get crazy, um, I'll definitely, like, keep you updated on what it's like coming off of Ozempic, especially, like, not even tapering, just, like, done, over it. Um, but if nothing happens, this might be my last Ozempic video, like, if my life is just, like, eh nothing happened, I probably won't film about it because that might be boring. Um, so that's it. Wow. Thank you guys all for coming on this 10 month, 11 month journey with me. That scared me. Hi. Anyway, thank you guys for coming on this 10, 11 month almost a year journey with me and giving me all your advice and chatting with me about your own Ozempic or semaglutide journeys and all that stuff. It's been a wild ride for sure. Sorry, I didn't find it useful to buy some moonlight. What is going on? I have cat wars. I've got people walking in my door. I've got, was that Siri or Alexa going nuts in the background? Guys, I gotta end this. I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you very, very soon right here or somewhere else in my next video. Bye.